Hello everyone, welcome for this new tutorial. Today we'll have a look on how to create alpha brushes with, um, with Comfy UI. So let's go for it. Here you can see my workflow. So I don't go, I don't go, I will not cover the, the installation of Comfy UI and uh, how to use it. There are a lot of tutorials about it. Uh, if you want to have a look on a variation of this, uh, of this workflow, you can uh, check uh, Flux install, install or Flux Schnell version install or you can go into the workflow Comfy UI here, browse the templates and you will have some Flux here, Flux Schnell and you will, it's just a variation of this one. Okay, here I have so the checkpoint with the Flux here model that will generate the image here I have some LoRa's that I can enable or disable for this example I will disable this just to show you uh, the example without it but you can add some details or make uh, some epic details here vividizer or whatever uh, you have here the conditioning here okay so you have the positive prompt and, and the negative prompt so it's simple just uh, for example here for floral architecture I will just use a solitary white intricate part of floral architecture bar relief of detail positioning perfectly at the center high detail realistic texture sharp focus pure, pure black background high contrast so yeah it will give this kind of result here okay so this will be the basic image that you will have out of that uh, this is not usable for going into alpha brush okay so if you want to use that as an alpha brush it's possible but you have a few things to manage first of all you have to install control net here and use the preprocessor depth anything v2 preprocessor you put the right resolution here it's 1024 like the same as the latent image here and it will give you an image like that but this as well is not usable because there are some colors into the background and uh, we want something totally black outside this. So to make this, I, I had a workflow with Photoshop, but I did make everything in, uh, in Comfy UI like this. Directly from Comfy UI, you have directly your alpha. So here you have the mix between these two images. Here I have a blurry image that is not really usable as it is. So I add some information of that one to mix it and have this kind of result. Now you can see that you have the fine details. So how I did that, I did use a comfy UI layer style here that you can download with the manager here that you have to install as well. Okay, so here you can uh, just use the image blend and use the blend mode soft light with an opacity of 15 so it will be exactly the same as photoshop or or even blender makes it in compositing so it's the same system okay here you have after uh, something here that will remove the background so it's the inspirenet rim background like this and like this it will create uh, an alpha information for make the transparency of the first image here okay so i use this one because it's always more contra contrasted than this than this one so i will use this information as an alpha here as an alpha mask like that okay and this alpha mask will mix this image that i have the mixed image here to uh full black image that I did prepare and now I have this kind of result that is totally usable in Blender. If I queue it again, you will see the result that will appear here, another result here. Let's wait a little and it will come here first. Sorry, here first, you see. Now you have this image that comes, then after this one and this one and that one. And finally, it's saved somewhere in your computer in the output file in the output folder so i generate another just to show you another result here so we'll have this kind of result interesting one as well okay and you will have this okay so this one is less usable let's say sometimes you have uh, some 
some uh, generations that will have to go in the garbage. As always, with uh, generating stuff with AI, okay? Here I have another one that is Dragon Head, okay? If I make a queue here, you will see that it will create a nice Asian Dragon Head like this, for example, okay? Well, this knot is not really good. This one is not really good, but it can create the depths as well and be used like this. I will create another one. And sometimes it's good to use LoRa's as well. Uh, this one will be very good, I guess. So we wait a little. We will have this kind of result that is perfect for our need here. And you see that we have a nice design that will perfectly work. Uh, so now what we can do, we can go into Blender and see the result. So let's go there. Let's go into Blender. What I did prepare here is just a square um, a square sphere that you can find here in the add menu mesh and uh, it's not square it's a round cube yeah and you can uh, just uh, increase the level of resolution to have a lot of vertices here I did even add a modifier and apply it to have something near the near 1 million here 1 million point five faces here, 1 million point five vertices as well. Okay, so here we have something dense enough to make the sculpting. We go into the sculpting option here. By default, it should come with the draw. We will go with the layer one to use the textures that we want. So what I like to can manage the textures well and um, not have too much space. Uh, between and not switch between this and that always what I like is to add here the tools over there okay so by default it will be here you go into tools and you will have the same things more or less okay so you can increase that to have the same kind of uh, layout and here what I want to do is play with the textures so a few options that you will have to uh, to enable there it's the hardness that has to be at one. Okay, by default it's 0, 05. It will create a kind of soft softness here. Ah, sorry, I still have something to change. By default here you will have dots. So you will have a behavior like this. Okay, let's say. And here by default it will be somewhere here. So you will have a behavior like that, okay? And you see that you there is a little of smooth outside. If I increase the hardness, it will be very hard like this. But it's it's not really usable with a simple brush, but with the textures, with textures, it will be better. So now let's go there and we will use Encord, okay? And that's it. After the eight, it's the height of the of the final. Uh, of the final brush. So let's go and create a new texture. We will go inside texture, create a new texture and a new texture will appear here. We can open with a open here and go into the output of stable diffusion and you will find here all your generations. So here I made a little experiments. I will show you how it works and let's take maybe something a little floral first like uh, maybe that one okay let's take that one or maybe that one let's go with that let's open an image and now if you click and drag you will see directly the result as simple as it is very easy you can click and drag and manage the rotation to it and depending of the size that you want to put okay you will increase the height or not Okay, so here let's say I want to decrease the height, I will put 0 0.02 and like this it will be good for this kind of design of this kind of size. Okay, so you see that it works pretty well and that it makes really nice and fine details. Uh, if I come back into another, maybe I will put back 0 0.0.3, something like that. And let's open another, like maybe the deer that is here okay or maybe this one I know that it, this one looks good and you just click and drag and look at this you have really something nice what you can do to uh, increase uh, a little the details into the view you can go there and enable the cavity option 
maybe not as one, but 0 0.5 on each might look a little better. Okay, so you have uh, the result with it and without it. Okay, it can it can help you to see the little details and see more the details. Sometimes the shadow as well works well, but be careful. It uh, it will slow down your computer if you don't have a good graphic card here. So I will just keep it like that. Okay, you can see that you have really nice results here. And again, if I just say, if I just take, sorry, here the, the dragon head, okay, and just click and drag and look at this. Maybe we can inc increase the height. And look, this looks really nice and makes really fine details. Look at that. Okay. Works, works very well. Another dragon head maybe? Let's go and find one. I made experiments already with this. Uh, I know that this one looks good. Let's go into it. And look at this one. The, the level of detail is very good and you can really play with that. I mean, even in Photoshop, you, you could, for example, remove the head and play only with this part of the design and, and it will work as well, as you can see. So yeah, uh, a lot of possibilities there. Everything is free. Everything is open source. You can just uh, manage your own alphas with it and create alphas that are not in the market. You know, when you buy alpha, uh, when you buy alphas, packages or things like that, it will always it will always be the same stuff. So, uh, yeah, maybe you will you will see it in a movie and you will say, ah, yeah, he did use this kind of of package or things. So yeah, no, here it's your it's yours and you can really play with your cre creativity. Usually, I don't like to play too much with AI, but here um, for final images especially. But here to add more creativity into your uh, and more possibilities into your creations, uh, it's more important. It doesn't mean that you that you that you need to forget how to sculpt or things like that. It will be always important to know how to sculpt well, because here, for example, maybe you would like to change some little details and things like that. And it's always good to know how to manage this stuff. But uh, as creator, it's uh, good to have new uh, new weapons, okay, with you, and uh, and this is a new weapon, and it doesn't kill creativity; it increases creativity. You still manage your creation, you still play with your designs, and uh, you manage the the things. And AI can give you ideas for that, and it's good, but it's always good to make your creation. Uh, it's very important. There is difference between being uh, someone who creates directly and someone that is a kind of spectator of uh, of watcher uh, of what the AI will give. So it's very different concept of creating. In in my opinion, the second way is not really creation. Uh, it's just watching something working in front of you and choosing an image. So it's not really a creation. Uh, in that case, you have an image that you manage yourself to create something else. So it's it's a little different in my opinion. So that's it. And you can see that you have really nice results. Ah, yeah, something else that I wanted to show you. Sorry, I'm talking, I'm talking. And I, I don't talk well because I'm not English user every day. Um, here I did make experiment for uh, other stuffs here, like for example rocks. That can be very good example here. Uh, it didn't work well. Why? Why is that? Let's create another one. Yeah, it comes here. You can see that you can create some rocks as well, rocky textures, very good as well. And even some te entire textures like that will work too. I did make some experiment as well. 
like for example let's go into this kind of textures here that works very well for for that so here the only difference is that you will come back with an hardness very less strong and a height very less strong as well 0 0.02 might work well and you can see that you will have this kind of possibilities now increase and decrease the size if needed to add some variations and you can see that it works pretty well as well you can see this kind of detail will appear now into just just to add some nice texture into your projects it will work very well as well so yeah that's it you can see that you have a lot of possibilities here i did just explore a little uh, yesterday about that but i mean there are a lot a lot a lot a lot of possibilities here to make really nice stuff uh, with this technique so i really recommend you to uh, check it out and make your workflow yourself and like this you will have the possibility to create your own alphas to your room for your projects okay so yeah see you soon have a great day and happy blending